All right, guys, welcome back to Death From Above 40K. It's uh, battle report time again, and we have the Space Wolves taking on the Tyranids. I'm gonna be heading up the Space Wolves, and my mate Jakey Boy is back again. He's gonna be heading up the Tyranids, and we're gonna be going toe to toe again. So, we battled last week, and he used Death Guard, and I used this exact same list of Space Wolves, so I'm gonna keep it the same because I figure the winning side just stays on as what they are, and the only way you get to update is if you lose a battle. So that's where I'm at. And at the moment, I'm still painting these guys, so this is where I'm at with the painting and the army. So we'll go through this. So HQ-wise, we got Bjorn, the fell handed He's going to be the Warlord. Laz Cannon, Heavy Flamer, True Claw. Um, you know him, you love him, he does his thing. Then down here, we've got Primaris Ragnar Blackmane, ready to run in and chop some heads. Then over here, we've got Njarl Stormcaller. He's the third HQ. Then for troops, we've got a unit of blood claws, five of chainsaws, bolt pistols, one with a flamer, pack leader with a sword. Then in front, we've got a wolf guard pack leader with two wolf claws in Terminator armor. Then here, we've got a Grey Hunter squad, six of, so one's got a plasma gun, the rest of them have got uh, bolt guns and chainsaws. Pack leader's got a power fist, and then the wolf guard pack leader in Terminator armor's got a storm bolter and a power fist. Third HQ, uh, sorry, troops choice is intercessors, uh, all with the auto bolt rifles this time, and the pack leader has the power fist. Um, going over to, do we have fast attack? Yes, I think these guys are our fast attack. So, fast attack, we've got five Thunderwolf Cav, uh, pack leader, it's got a thunder hammer, all of them have storm shields, and all the others have a wolf claw. Um, then elites, we've got a wolf and dreadnought. He's got the blizzard shield and great Fenrisian axe. He's also got a heavy flamer. Um, then for heavy support, we have long fangs, two las cannons, three rockets, uh, pack leader with bolt gun and bolt pistol, and then wolf guard pack leader with wolf claw, storm bolter, and cyclone missile launcher. Then we have a whirlwind with uh, vengeance rounds in it. So. The Strength 7, um, AP 1, 2 damage ones. So this comes in at 9 command points. So we've got 8 for the battalion. And then if you have Bjorn in your army, because he's uh, the oldest dude that ever lived in the galaxy, he gives you an extra command point. So that's the Space Wolves army. So they'll be uh, heading off and doing their thing. Then if we come over here, in the Tyranids list, so we'll go through the HQs first. Uh, down here we've got a Tyranid Prime with Death Spitter and Bone Swords. He's got the Adrenal Glands and Toxin Sacks. Then we've got a Tyrant on Foot. Now he's the Warlord. He's got the Venom Cannon and I literally just forgot the name of it, but it's the Bio Artifact that means that it always shoots three shots. Um, his Warlord trait is Adaptive Biology, so after he takes some damage you reduce his damage by one. Um, yeah, so he'll be he'll be the leader of the army. Then, oh, psychic power wise, he's got um, onslaught and catalyst. Then the guy behind him, another flying hive torrent, the big boy. He's just the attack dog. He's got uh, four scything talons, big scything talons, and his psychic powers are the horror and psychic scream. So he's more of a come down and do. Disable people. Support guy, disable guy. All right, then troops. We've got 30 Homogorns up front with their Scything Talons. No upgrades, just uh, keep them nice and cheap. Then we've got Warriors, three of, all with Bone Swords, two with Death Spitters, one with Venom Cannon. Same goes over here. Then if we go to Elites, we've got uh, three Tyrant Guard with just Rending Claws and Scything Talons. Then we've got one, two lictors. That's it for the elites. Then in heavy support, we've got one, two, three carnifexes, all armor same. So they've got a heavy venom cannon, despots with slimer maggots, spore cysts, and enhanced sensors. So they're harder to hit, they hit better, and they're just uh, super shooters. Coming over here, we've got an exocrine. You know what he does. You love him. There you go. All right, so that comes in at... Uh, nine command points and 1500 points. Well. So both armies are uh, pretty 
pretty varied, um, have a lot of troops, a lot of different things to throw down. They both have nine command points, both have good psychic powers, good, good firepower, good close combat. Should be an interesting battle. So we'll uh, roll up a mission and um, see what we can do. We'll get back to you in a minute. All right, guys, we've rolled up a mission and it's called Narrow the Search. So it's out of the 2019 chapter approved and uh, the rules are as follows. So in the center of the board is an objective and we thought it'd be fluffy to put this watch captain or watch master in the center as the objective. So how it works is when within 12 of the objective, you get no invulnerable save. This is the only objective on the field, and as the game goes on, the bubble around this gets smaller. So the idea is whoever has the most units near this, like scores one point for the turn. And the way that works is, to start with, it starts off as an 18 inch bubble coming out from this guy. Then as the turns go on, it shrinks by three inches, ending up at 12 inches which is about here <laughs> so pretty much the armies are just lined up ready to run here and get this it's kind of like relic but with a little bit of a twist so no invulnerable saves the bubble gets shorter you've got your first strike warlord and um line breaker i don't think there'll be line breaker this this battle but hey we'll see what happens so the Space Wolves rolled highest and picked a deployment, so they've picked this side. Um, then the Tyranids set up first, so the Tyranids will be going first at this point in time. So with the Space Wolves deployment up the top here, we've got the Long Fangs looking down over this Watchmaster's objective. Then coming down here, we've got the Whirlwind ready to fire rounds up over their head into whatever needs to be dying. Then here we've got Thundercav. Behind them, we've got some Grey Hunters, and then Bjorn being escorted by his Grey Hunters. They just hold him together, you know, he's pretty old. Then we got Bjorn up here with some Intercessors. Over here, we got Ragnar, he's going to lead the Blood Claws today. And then over here, we've got the Wolf and Dreadnought. So, all the Space Wolves are on the battlefield, and are very ready to just go straight into this centerpiece. Let's go have a look at the Tyranids. So, to start with, the Tyranids have two lictors in reserve just for you never know then starting from the right hand going across so we've got a carnifex coming across flying hive tyrant another carnifex then in the center here we have the exocrine with a field of fire over this center same as what the long fangs are doing big giant blob of homogaunts all around here love and life then in the center they got the warlord with his uh, hive guard so tyrant guard then under here we've got the big warriors so two troops and then the prime in the center and then going over here the carnifex so at this current juncture the tyranids have the first turn unless i can roll a six to go first with my space with so i'm going to try and seize this this is like the third time this has happened against jake so we'll see what happens and i've rolled a one again so the first turn will be going to the tyranids so they're going to get a little bit of a an advantage here, see if they can't shoot the shit out of some stuff and take control of the board. We'll get back to yours in one tick. Alright guys, end of Tyranid turn one and a few bits and pieces have happened. So, movement wise, Carnifex move forward, Warriors and Warrior Prime move forward, even the uh, Exocrine here move forward because you just need to get a bit better line of sight and closer. The Hive Tyrants move forward here. Then all the Homogaunts, they rolled a six for their run and have just poured in. They're literally on the front door of these guys right now. So they've just absolutely over-swarmed this, this guy in the center here. Then if we come across here, these guys moved out from behind the building. And if we come over here, the big boy has made it all the way across into combat over here. So, we'll start with Psychic Powers. This guy put Onslaught on him, so he didn't suffer the penalty for moving and shooting. He put Catalyst on himself. Uh, 
This guy tried to cast the horror and smite and Bjorn, sh uh, sorry, Njal shut down both of them. So that was nothing. Uh, shooting. These guys shot at the Dreadnought and did nothing. A uh, combination of this guy, uh, these two guys, and this Carnifex shot up here and reduced these guys down to three guys. They passed their leadership, but they've only got the two Laz Cannons and the Wolf left. Still good firepower, still four heavy weapons, don't freak out. Um, and then this guy charged over here into combat. He did nothing to the to the Dreadnoughts, where the Hive Torrents sometimes suffer because they're only strength six, which it's a bit, bit puny. But then in return, the Wolf and Dreadnought hit him back and took one wound off and then we're just left with this epic looking jewel here. All right, so that was Tyranid's turn one. Uh, the Space Wolves will have their turn and see if they can't counter in and um, take control of the center here because at the moment, pretty much everything here is within 18 of this guy in the center here. So they'll be holding this unless the Space Wolves can really clear out some stuff. So we'll get back to you at the end of Space Wolves turn. Alright guys, end of Space Wolves turn one. What's happened? So, there's a bit of a push forward in the centre here. Um, there was some shooting and these guys have ended up over here. So what shot at what? So first things first, these three guys up here uh, paid the command points so they ignore the modifiers and over here they blew away the can't effects that was there. Um, this whirlwind down here shot up and over, took two wounds off this. Bjorn also shot at him and only took one wound off. So the combination of Bjorn and the whirlwind took three off the Exocrine. Uh, these Grey Hunters, the Pack of Intercessors and the Blood Claws all shot in here and killed 18 Homogorns, but then he took all the ones from the front, which I didn't think he was gonna do because he was trying to hold the center. Foolish me. And then I failed all my charges across the front here. So none of them got into combat over here. Beg my pardon. Uh, over here, Ragnar Blackmane ran in here, took 10 wounds off the big guy. Then in retaliation, the Hive Tyrant turned around and swiped him dead. Even on its last wound, it still managed to kill Ragnar Blackmane. So, Hive Torrents, always brutal. Then this guy swung in and didn't manage to uh, finish off the last wound. So the Hive Torrent is still there doing its thing. All right, then if we come across here, the Thunder Cav come pouring across here, obliterated a squad of warriors. Um, this guy heroically intervened and between all their attacks back, they killed one Thunder Wolf and wounded one. So, at the end of uh, the first battle round, the Tyranids hold the center, but they have way more stuff within uh, the center of this board than the Space Wolves, but the Space Wolves got first strike. So at the end of the battle round, both armies are on one point. So we'll get back to this. We'll see if the Tyranids can't uh, do some more work, do some more damage, get in here and kick some Space Wolves in the head. All right. Alright, end of Tyranid's turn two. <laughs> Jakey boy turned shit up to 11 and um, kicked the snot out of a lot of my stuff. I'm not out of the game, but we've been hurting. Hurting for a squirting. Alright, what happened? <clears throat> so, combined pie, firepower, or oh, sorry, movement, everything moved forward towards this center. Pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty obvious. It's also spread out to make this bubble and push back the space walls, which is a bit difficult. Um, these can't effects us here. And the Exocrine here shot into here after this guy retreated and they managed to kill a couple more Thunderwolves. They passed their leadership. Um, a combination of the rest of the shooting shot into some of these Space Wolf squads here and just killed a guy here or there. Uh, psychic phase. This guy wounded the Dreadnought that was there and this guy put um, Feel No Pain on himself and then smited an intercessor marine. So, after the shooting, combat wise, um, oh, the other thing too is, he dropped these two lictors in here, 
towards the centre. They can charge in next turn, but he, it was more, I think, just to hold... The idea he was saying was just to hold that centre, have more bodies there. So, um, the Homogaunts ran in, killed this unit of Blood Claws down to two, but then lost another five in the combat. Um, the Hive Tyrant and these guys ran in here. The Tyrant Guard killed two more Intercessors and then lost two to the Power Fist. This big guy was also going to attack him, but then Nial jumped down to fight, so he put his attacks into Nyao and did nothing, then Nyao hit him back and did nothing as well, so it was a bit of a stalemate there, but over here just a, a gruelling grinding combat. Um, <clears throat> once again, <laughs> they've pushed me off the centre here with their, their massed bodies, so I'm actually going to have to do something in my turn to try and sort of lower some of this body count in the centre and actually get in there myself and, and start hurting these guys. Alright, we'll get back to yous at the end of the Space Wolf's turn two. All right, guys. End of Space Wolf's two. Turn two, so. So, first things first. There's been some movement. There's been some shenanigans. There's been a lot of stuff die. So, movement phase. The only thing that really, really moved was these wolves swung around the back here. They were over here. All right. Uh, psychic phase, Nyal didn't get any of his psychic powers off because there was two hive tyrants near him just shutting them down. So unfortunately that didn't work out too well. Um, there's a neg one when you're in Shadow of the Warp as well. So having a heap of denies and Shadow of the Warp and all that stuff didn't work out well for my psychic shenanigans. But <clears throat> shooting phase was a little more successful. So the Whirlwind and the Long Fangs together shot across here and blew away the Exocrine. So that was a good start. Um, Bjorn tried to shoot across and finish this guy off with his last cannons. Didn't work out. Um, the only other shooting was there was a little bit of shots come out of these guys before they charged into these warriors, which didn't go so well because they killed two of the warriors. They lost two guys in Overwatch, then lost two guys in combat. But then, because this guy was the last guy, I paid the command point to make him a lone wolf. So he's now a character with four wounds, four attacks, and he gets re-rolls to hit and re-rolls to wound for the rest of the game. One command point. It's worth it. Combat in here. Bjorn ran in, took six wounds off this Hive Tyrant. Then Nyal hit him again, took two more off. The Hive Tyrant hit Nyal back, took three off him. These guys... Uh, tried to attack him, did nothing, and then over here the combat goes on. The two blood claws facing off now against three homogorns. Um, as far as holding the center went, it's a 15 inch bubble this turn, and that means that these two guys were in, and the two guys over here he put in, and everything else that was here. So every model he has on the table is in, and he bet me out by one model. So I had these guys and all these guys here and he bet me by one model so he gets the turn for this round again so i'm actually having a bit of trouble moving these tyranids out of the center of the board but that's all right we're having a blast kicking the shit out of each other so what i'll do now is um let him have his next turn and um this could be brutal because i'm pretty low on numbers and uh he's still got some nasty bugs around all right we'll get back to you All right, guys, end of Tyranids turn three. So, first things first, these guys moved around the side here, shot up into this building. They killed the killed two, sorry, yeah, the two Laz Cannons. This guy survived, and I played my last command point to make him a lone wolf now as well. So he's got four wounds, re-rolls hit, re-rolls wound, and he's a character, plus two attacks as well. Um... Other than that, they had nothing else they could shoot at because everything was in combat. So, coming around here, um, the Lictors ran in here and finished off another one of these Thunderwolves and then lost a Lictor in return to the Thunderhammer guy. In the centre here, this guy got wounded by the Warrior, but then he punched the crap out of the Warrior. Over here, um, this guy killed all the Intercessors. Um, and a few other bits and bobs and then these two struck back and killed the Warlord Hive Tyrant. So uh, Space Wolves have scored uh, Warlord at this point. And then these two freed up because they killed the last of the Gaunts. So, 
at the end of the Tyranid turn three, it's been an absolute bloodbath. There's there's things dead everywhere. This this mission and these two armies have just been going at it and it's been crazy. So we'll have Space Wolves turn three and see if we can't do some more damage and take control of this center because at the end of the turn when we win some points. All right. All right, guys, end of Space Wolf turn three, and it's a wrap. The Space Wolves have won by one point, simply because this guy killed the Lictor. The Lone Wolf that's moved into here shot across and blew away the Hive Tyrant. Bjorn, everyone went in the center, killed everything else. This guy moved over here, he didn't get his charge off, but then the Lone Wolf with the Power Fist and the other Terminator ran in and smacked the crap out of one of the Carnifexes and then tied this one up. So if it went to Tyranid's turn four, all it means is that he can retreat out of combat or try and fight them. And uh, we did the dice rolls and this Lone Wolf just absolutely kicked the shit out of this uh, Carnifex. So it was a bit of a quick one, um, ending on turn three. But that's what happens when the objective in the center is like a, you know, it's the only one in the game and you have bloody shit just going everywhere. So the two armies are sort of combat and shooting base, mainly combat. They've both come into the center here to, to take things out. And uh, yeah, so man of the match wise, for once Bjorn's not getting it, I gave it to this guy who became a lone wolf and just dominated the center of the board. Jakey boy gave it to this pestering hive tyrant that just, it wouldn't die. Even when it got down to one wound, I reckon it went on for two more turns. Coming across here, carving stuff up and just there's nothing I could do about it from that point on until finally the other lone wolf <laughs> shot it out of the sky. So this is why I put the pack leaders in Terminator armor in the squads. Um, that way, if you get down to your last guy, they've already two wounds, two up armor, and they're, they're armed to the teeth. You know, this guy's got wolf claws. This guy's got rockets and wolf claws. This guy's got power fists and storm boulders. You pay that one command point, and you're pretty much giving yourself another captain. Oh, well, it's better than a captain, because he re-rolls. Oh, he, he doesn't have an aura, but he does it for himself. Re-rolls, hits some wounds. So, hopefully you've enjoyed that. It was a bit of a bloodbath, a bit of something different um, with that mission. Um, you know, we'll get back to it. We'll put it together some more lists and enjoy. Keep safe out there. Look after yourselves. And I'll keep these battle reports coming and try and get some more Tactica videos out as well. All right, enjoy, guys.